When are you going to tell Father something? Oh, I was going to run away, Father. But he stopped me. My name's Carver, Father. Mitch Carver. Glad to know you, Mr. Carver. Sit down. Thank you. I hope you don't mind my taking him fishing. Oh, tickle as he did. We don't have time to do half what we'd like for the kids. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Probably more than he did. We raise him. Might be. We raise everything on the place. Where did you uh, find Tom? Down by the stream. He seemed pretty broken up about his sister being adopted. It, uh, it wasn't his sister, Mr. Carver. It wasn't his sister. But he said... I know. His baby. Poor Tom. He, he wants so much to be part of a real family. I don't quite understand. If it wasn't his sister, what baby it is he's so upset about losing? Every time we get a baby in here, Tom attaches himself to it. I suppose the psychologist would say that he was trying to create a family for himself to compensate. It's always the fat little dimpled ones they want. Poor kid. Yeah, Tom's got a tough road to hoe. But he'll make the grade. You're pretty keen on him, aren't you? I'm keen on all my kids. <laughs> but I feel that Tom belongs to me uh, more than the others. How do you mean? Well, he's the only child we have here at the home who came to us with no identity. No identity? You mean you don't know who he is or where he came from? No. No idea. He was abandoned at a church. It was St. Michael's Day, so I named him Thomas Christopher Michael. Well, I'd better get these peas out of the kitchen or the cook will be down my throat. <laughs> Come and see us again, Mr. Carver. No, I will, Father. You bet I will. But we've only been married a year. What will people say? They'll say the Carvers are crazy, but who cares? Oh, wait till you see him. Give each your heart up. But, uh, Mitch... He's a funny-looking little guy, all eyes, and he's kind of skinny, but we'll fatten him up. You don't seem to understand, darling. I plan to have a family of my own. I want my own children. You can have a dozen if you want to, but this is different. Let me bring him home. You see him. He'll be crazy about you. Well, couldn't we just help him? Why are you so set on adopting him? Because he doesn't know who he is or where he came from. Oh, that's it. I know how the kid feels, darling. Wondering who he is and what his folks were like. I wondered the same thing about myself a million times. Still do once in a while. Who and what I was before 1918. Please, Mitch, I don't know how to fight that kind of an argument. Well, why fight it? Let me bring him home. It's unfair of you to put me in this position. Your father was wonderful to you, picking you up the way he did. But you must admit he took an awful chance. What do you mean, a chance? Well, you turned out fine. But how did he know when he picked you up what you turned out to be? Well, he didn't. When he followed me, he didn't ask me any questions. He just thought I was three years old and starving. Sure, he took a chance. He took a chance until the day he died. He was the kind of guy he was. More heart than sense. I can't take this boy, Mitch. Not even for you. Don't ask me. I just can't. Well, I guess you can. No one ever gave me the idea you could. You'd have to have guarantees. I'm afraid I'm a little early. Hello, Mother. My son beating you again? I'm afraid I'm the heavy. Study visitor. <laughs> I'm just looking for Tom. I think he's outside at the barn. The boys are just finishing up their outside chores. Good, thanks. Mr. Carver? Yes. Tom's getting very attached to you. <laughs> it's mutual. Is it? What do you mean? Every week Tom looks forward to seeing you with greater anticipation. I don't know what's going on in your life, but don't make a back street out of the boy. If you're not going to adopt him, don't torture him with false hope. You mean, don't see him anymore? You can take him fishing today. He's counting on that. But after that, well, we'll see. Did you ever 
you lay down on the grass like this when you were a kid? Just look up at the clouds. Yeah, more times than you can count. And then, kind of wonder where they're going. And then you shut your eyes real tight, like this, until you can't see them anymore. But you can still see them on the inside of your eyes. And that's what they call daydreaming, Tommy. Is that wrong? Oh, no. No, but sometimes daydreams get misleading and you get to wanting things you can't have. Yeah. After you're gone, Mitch, I can still see you on the inside of my eyes. Mitch? Yeah. Have, have you got a boy? Yes, Tommy, I've got a boy. I'll see you in a minute. Benny doesn't look too good right now. I didn't have a chance to clean him up. You shouldn't have done it, Mitch. Not today. I know, darling. I should have talked it over with you, but I thought if you just saw him, you'd change your mind. Mitch, I'm going to have a baby. A baby? Oh, darling, this is wonderful. When? Oh, next February. Oh, why didn't you tell me before? Well, I wanted to be sure. Mitch, are you glad? <laughs> glad? Oh. <laughs> Say, listen, wait till Tom hears about this. He's crazy about babies. He'll be tickled pink. The boy can't stay. You'll have to take him back. I can't. Why can't you? I just can't, that's all. Explain it to him. I just can't take him back, and that's that. You mean you won't? All right, then I won't. Who are you married to, Tom or me? I told you I didn't believe in adoption, but I want my own children, not somebody else's. And you bring him home anyway. I tell you, I'm going to have a baby, and what do you say? Yippee, I'm going to be a father. You made me the happiest man in the world. No, you say, Tom will be tickled pink. Him that can never be repaired. On the other hand, I can't raise him here in a family where he's 
Not love. Oh, I know, son, but you have to think of Lynn's point of view, too. Well, I try to. Now she's talking about the baby as her baby, not ours. Somewhere along the line, we got off the track. We're on different sides of the street. I don't think she was more like you. Well, that's just it. She's exactly like me. Like you? Oh, no. Like I was, when I was her age, I mean. But you took to me at once. You were my stepmother, but you never made me feel unwanted the way she's making Tommy feel. Son, I've never told this to anyone before, not even your father. He died, never knowing. Never knowing what? And the only reason I'm telling you now is because perhaps it'll help you to understand Lynn better. Mitch, I didn't love you in the beginning. Not at first. There's no need to take her part. Please, Mitch, it's true. But try to look at it through my eyes. I was in love with your father. And to get him, I had to take you. Had to? Well, you weren't very much to look at. You had two teeth out in front, and you were clumsy and awkward. But I was just a girl, Mitch. Just a girl in love. I didn't know anything about raising little boys. You did a pretty good job for an amateur. You don't believe me, do you? I don't know. I've always believed everything you have told me before. Mitch, turn around and look at me. I just want to remind you that people are always saying that we look alike. There's nothing very unusual about that. We don't look alike, you and I. Not really. But when people live together for a long time in happiness, there's something inside them that gets to be alike. They think alike, and they look alike. No, I didn't love you at first. It took time. But I couldn't love you anymore today if you were my own child. I think you know that, son, don't you? Now you have the knack for it, Mother. You always could put me straight. see his biscuits. Don't you touch that. Oh, look at his hands. They're filthy. Thank you for the dinner. I'm afraid the atmosphere was rather strange, Father. We had a little family misunderstanding before you arrived. Mr. Carver, I think you'd better bring the boy back to me. Oh, but Father, no, he's not happy here. And he's not wanted. You can't break a family to make a family. You bring the boy back before everything you have is destroyed. Let me think it over for a few days. All right. A few days. Goodbye. Goodbye, Father. Are you awake? Yes. I'm sorry about things. I never meant to make you unhappy. Well, it's not your fault. I, I shouldn't have tried to force him onto you. I tried to like him. I honestly tried. I'm going to take him back. When? I don't know. I'm leaving for San Francisco in the morning for three or four days. When I get back, I guess. Have you told him? No. Tell him in the morning. No, don't tell him in the morning if you're leaving tomorrow. I couldn't face four days with knowing he was going back. Mitch, mm -hmm. why don't we let him stay a little longer? Only make him more miserable. Maybe in time I'd get used to it. I know what he means to you. I... That's not enough. He has to mean the same to you. I'll take him back. He left early this morning for San Francisco. He'll be back in a few days. Pick up your pajamas. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. But I did hang up my towel. Well, that's fine. And I cleaned behind my ears with my fingernails. Oh, I'll go down and put up your lunch. Hurry up, or you won't have much time for breakfast. 
Don't you want me to carry that, that laundry downstairs for you? No, oh, I can do it. Oh, <laughs> 